can't do this one hand. Hold on. So I uh, pulled it a few times and it didn't start. Um, so now I'm going to check the spark plug. Because there was water, the spark plug is probably all fouled up with water or whatever. And we'll check it out. Check that out, guys. There you go. Look at that. No way is this thing starting when it looks like that. Retarded, man. I'm going to clean this up with a wired uh, bristled brush. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. Okay, I'm going to put it back in now, after I wipe that off a little bit, put it in and give it a try. The spark plug back in there now, give it a try, I don't know how I'm going to do this, alright, my elbow. guys so I've uh, finished putting in all the spark plugs it was uh, quite a task I'll tell you that uh, there are areas in that engine bay that just weren't meant for hands to go in there so I'd use every bend and every elbow but I wanted to show you these plugs that I pulled out of there um, you know in terms of it being clean it's actually okay um, there's not a lot of oil or anything like that which means that the engines running pretty well there's always a little bit of oil residue on the outside due to, you know, valve cover leaks and stuff like that. But I wanted to show you this. Um, what's retarded is the guy had them all gapped like at um, 0.60 or something like that. You know, so here's the gapper. I'm trying to do this with um, the camera and, okay, that's where it stops, right? It's like 62, right? Um, I had some that were in the 70s, some were in the high 60s, but nothing below 60. So the guy had them gapped way too, be uh, way too um, high. So the specifications for this vehicle is um, 44 for a 2.3 liter uh, four-cylinder. So it had to be around here, which everything was gapped correctly. So I just want to let you know, uh, that's probably one of the reasons why this engine was running, um, you know, so lean, um, or wh whichever the way it was, um, it was almost going to stall sometimes at idle. So I'm going to go for a test drive now after I've replaced all eight spark plugs, that's right, eight spark plugs in a four-cylinder car, uh, at the correct gap with brand new plugs, which is uh, Autolite 764. So I'll go give it a try and uh, see if all is well. So it's been idling for a little while now. Um, it's at 750 and it's not stalling. 